gonna shake your booties for black girl nerd. Ali has a great relationship with her dad. Mm -hmm. Why isn't this translating to the relationship with the other men in her life? Because she didn't have a mom. She didn't have anyone to teach her how to be a nurturing woman. Mm -hmm. um, she was just around men all her life. Mm -hmm. Even her, um, the person that she looks up to is a man, Muhammad Ali. Mm -hmm. You know, she's been taught to fight all yeah. her life. Um, and that's the beauty of this film and watching her arc because she thinks she's gonna have this power to advance herself. And really, this power is teaching her so much about herself. Yeah, there's a theme of transparency mm -hmm. in the movie as well. Do you think that in marriages and mm -hmm. in relationships that your spouse should know everything about you? Um, I, think, I think as far as when you get married, absolutely. Um, yeah. Because you're talking about a lifetime partner. Mm -hmm. You know, if something comes up or, uh, you know, you go missing, or they have to, there are things you need to know about uh, the, your lifetime partner. You know, yeah. I don't, I don't believe in secrets when you talk about have happily ever after. Yeah. There were so many fun moments in, uh, in the movie. Were the sex scenes improvised or scripted? Uh, both. It's there, the, the layout is there, the blueprint, and this is, this is kind of what we're trying to convey, and then you're in the act, and then you just start doing things, you know, so <laughs> it's kind of, 50-50. As a result of doing this role, do you have greater compassion for people who other people label as insane or crazy? Well, you know, I launched a, a, a foundation for mental health illness, so I don't okay. ever label people as crazy or insane because mental illness is very real. What's the name of the organization? It's Lawrence Henson Foundation, named after my father. Very nice, very nice. There are a lot of young women who look up to you mm -hmm. and they see your success. Um, what would you say to young women or even your fans who feel as if they have to compromise in their faith or in their personal views uh, to make it in this industry? I say don't you ever compromise. Um, and I'm gonna give you a prime example of someone who has, who's huge by not compromising, that's Cardi B. She is yeah. who she is, she knows who she is, she is okay with her past. And see, when you know who you are and you live in your truth, no one can knock you off of that, right? Yeah. You can't, no yeah. one can use you against you, no one can use your past. I know my past and I'm cool with it, but look where I am now, Yeah. you know? So just live in your truth, live in your truth and don't let nobody tell you what your truth is. Yeah, yeah, very nice. It was a pleasure talking Thank to you, you today. Thank you, thank you, you too. Picture yes, do <laughs> Better shake your booties for black girl nerds. Better shake your booties for.